my heart. Please don't say nothing to her. Oh my lord, I'm gonna get caught. Like, by this time, nigga, I'm with you every day. By this time, I'm damn near your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm beyond cheating. I got a boyfriend and a girlfriend. So girl, you might as well just you might might as well. You first trial run back so we're gonna make it we're gonna make it work so long story short if you can see by the title this is a college story time well you might not can't see by the title but it's a college story time and i'm introducing two new people into my channel but the girlfriend she may not have a second story time i don't know like, it was some crazy things that happened with me and her. Well, she'll get another story time because I'm going to tell y'all how I ended up dating her. Because some of y'all still don't know, um, when I was in college, I had a girlfriend. Now, we wasn't together long because of this story time. But I indeed had a girlfriend. Um, holding hands, kissing, eating twat, all that. Like, you know, when I do stuff, I go full throttle. You know, you bitches be out here just getting licking you ain't licking you ain't really gay you know what i'm saying but me on the other hand i'm gonna turn up you know so i was like really in the community for real for real but since her i actually haven't found another female that just tickles my fancy it makes me feel like comfortable how she made me feel comfortable and then it's just like not yeah not in my city these these girlies be money that I strapped everybody down in the city so I just uh but we're gonna take it back 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 to 2018 not even was it 2018 I think it was 2018 I don't remember I was a sophomore in college okay so let me tell you okay I met both of these people my boyfriend and my girlfriend in college my freshman year of college I'm not gonna tell y'all a full story but I had a class with him and I stayed in the, on the same wing of the dorm with her. So I was like room 104 and she probably was room 108 or something like that. And the way Robinson is, all the eyes are on this side. So it will be 103, 105, 105, 107. So it will be 104, 106, 108. So she like two doors down from me. So long story short, that's how I ended up meeting her. And I met him my freshman year because we had a speech class together. I'm not going to get into the details, but I'm going to just let y'all know. I was peeping the scene on her the end of my freshman year. And he was peeping the scene on me the end of my freshman year. So, I wish I could find the papers and all that good stuff. Because, girl, anyways, from the class, like he used to write little stuff on my paperwork. Because we used to grade each other stuff. So, it's real cute, whatever. But, so, nothing happened in my freshman year because I actually was getting over um, being, like, a heartbreak because the dude I was dealing with for a long time. Back home, we finally, like, I finally realized, like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Whatever. So, um, I over the summer, me and her, we had this on Facebook or Instagram. One of the two. One of the two. Snapchat. Snapchat and Facebook. And that's when I messaged that games was like really, 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 really popular. So people like met I message games question mark like who wanna play me in bowling and uh, not bowling what is it it's the little pool table billards billards something like that and I was I was the end of the semester I was peeping her and I had one of her but I knew she had a girlfriend her girlfriend she ain't had it on me but I knew she had a girlfriend. But I still wanted her because I want you and your girlfriend is ugly. So you need to upgrade, you know. So when she had put the iMessage games, whatever, I was like, you know, me. Because I have an iPhone now. And I, let's play some games. So for the longest, like over the summer, we would just play games. Like back and forth. We really wasn't talking a lot in the messages. And then about going into July, she would talk to me like 
you know, she will try to use the game as a way to talk to me and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to keep going into details. But she swung of me by July going into August. That was my girl. That was my girl. I couldn't wait to come back to school to, like, finally see her link with her stuff like that. So, we get back to school. She tell me, uh, I'm not coming back to Flomo. Um, I am just going to give me a job, whatever. I decided not to come back this semester because of my financial aid. And on top of that, school just not really my thing. But, babe, I stay in Miami Gardens. So, you know, I got, you know, I'm on my car or whatever. I'm living with my mom's. You could, I could come swing and pull, pull up on you, come pick you up, all that good stuff. Because at the time, I don't think I had a car yet. I don't know if I got my car... I think I had got my car over that summer. Yeah. So I did have a car. She was I come because when she met me, I didn't have a car. So I think she thought at the time I didn't have a car still, but whatever. She was like, baby, you know, I could come swing and come get you. We can still do our little do, do dates, stay the night with you. I can stay the night over here with me. Da da da. So I was like, okay, cool. So boom. Cause at first I'm like, damn, she not coming back. Like, what she say? Cause I'm not gonna do no long distance relationship stuff like that. So she's like, no, baby, baby. baby. Hey, you good, you cool, you know, I just won't be on campus 24-7, like how we see each other every day, I won't be seeing you, like, every single second, but I can see you when I get out of work, and all that, when you got to class, I'll come out to all the events and parties and stuff like that, so, that's exactly what she did, so, um, by the middle of the first semester, everybody knows my girlfriend, like, because you know how college is, it's really high school, because your nigga and your girl gonna walk you to your classes, Y'all gonna eat lunch in the calf together. Y'all gonna stop by the little whatever restaurants that y'all got on campus. The bookstore together, the library together, leaving campus together, parties together. Which we'll we, we gonna know. That's your that's your girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what it was. Like she would come and I would sneak her into my room, or this one I was staring in the quad with the roommate horror story. Um, and this was before we fell out, so we was all cool. Like they was all cool with my girl and me. And everything, so they didn't give a fuck. They helped me sneak her in and everything. Um, and I've never been a quiet girl, you know, when it comes to... So, they used to, like, get on me and stuff like that because she used to beat me down, baby. And I used to be like, you know, it's not because, you know, I had a my roommates and stuff. And they used to, they used to kick out for me because the bitch was loud. But they loved her. We was, like, really, really, really cool, whatever. So, long story short, in the midst of me, like... Being in love, bitch, this nigga come, like, at the beginning of the year, okay, because he had done, <laughs> so we're going to name her Winnie the Pooh, and I'm naming her Winnie the Pooh because that's her favorite character from Disney, like, she just Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, so Miss Mamas is Winnie the Pooh, so by the way, Miss Mamas was a stud. Miss Mamas, I'm, at this point, we might as well call her Miss Mamas. But Winnie the Pooh was, she was a stud, very much giving boy, you know. So, but she had a cute little face, like, a cute little button face. So, I wish I could put pictures in, but that's a lot. So, cute little button face. Anyway, so my girl was not ugly. And, you know, me, face card. <laughs> so... It was not like, oh, I'm trying to upgrade on this bitch, you know. It was so just out of nowhere, but not really. So, when we came back to the school, the beginning of the semester, I'm, you know, dealing dallying with her. But around campus, oh boy, we'll call him fuck nigga. No, <laughs> we'll call him, um... I get a good name because when I come back with the next story time... What we gonna call him? Hey, we'll call him Trey. So, anyways, so Trey at the beginning of the school year when we came back around, he 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 doubled back and found me because he had actually crossed a fraternity at the end of the for his freshman school year. Um, now I'll be asking me which fraternity because. If you girls from HBCUs know, like, no, 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 you know it's only one fraternity that's going to let freshmen cross. But you got to be a second semester freshman in order for you to cross. Because every other fraternity, you got to have a certain number of credits. 
in order for you to even apply. But this is the only fraternity that you could do that. So, anyways, so he crossed whatever, and then he came back and look, looking for me, whatever. So, one day he had walked up on me, whatever. He said, hey, you know, do you remember me? And I'm like, yeah, I remember you. It was like, it's nice seeing you again. I was like, hoping that you came back. We had speech class together. You were, so, I just, like, throwing all these compliments out. Like, I still remember you. You were so breathtaking, this, that, and the third. I'm talking about compliments out the wazoo, baby. But mind you, like I said at the beginning, I wish I had the papers from our speech class because he used to have to, I used to, and he used to have to grade our papers because that's how the speech class was. It was a rating scale. So everybody in the class, you would do your speech, and while you're doing the speech, they would rate you and give you feedback. And on here, he would always have hella compliments for me, like thick, thick, thick little paragraph, whatever. It was so cute to me. But I never paid no mind because, you know. And then... He was just, you know, verbally giving these compliments to me at the beginning of the year. He was like, I think you're very cool, you know. You know, if I see you around, maybe we should hang out or go eat at the cafe together or something like that. I was like, okay, go. Cool. Okay, cool. You know, and then that just turned into my roommate. <sighs> Side story. My roommate, before we fell out, was already friends with his friend, which was then turned into his fraternity brother. So they used to always be together and then she used to always be with his fraternity brother and I used to always be with her. So then in con like like it just kind of did like this. I'm always with the bitch, the bitch always with him and then boom, now I'm always around Trey. So it turned into a foursome, foursome turning off into a twosome where they we let them do their little thing lang lang. She claims she never dated him, but that's another story time. And I would go study in the library. Like, whenever my girl was at work, like, and I'm doing regular stuff around campus, I would go, like, to the library. He he would text me, like, um, what's that app we used to use? Group me and stuff like that. Uh, where are you at? You know, um, I was like, I'm in the library. He's like, okay, I'm going to come up there and study with you. Oh, let's walk around the lake and talk. Oh, let's sit in, in front of the lagoon. I'm sorry, the lagoon. And um, we used to sit in front of the lagoon and talk for hours till the sun went down. Um, it got to the point where, like, bitch, I almost lost my bitch because there was a bunch of girls who didn't like me because my girlfriend's ex, those were her friends. So she still wanted old girl, but old girl was with me. And so then they seen me hanging around this dude a lot. We had to then shut, shut, shut it down because I told him like, you know, it was very innocent, you know, at first. We wasn't doing anything crazy. It was just like studying together, eating food together. He would walk me to my classes and he knew I had a girlfriend. I was very, very vocal about the fact I had a girlfriend. And then like when I was around, like she would be on campus, he would not see me. I would keep like a low profile, like. No, I don't want to see you because I just didn't know if he was a player, player or he would still be like, I could tell he wanted me. But at the time, like I was, I told him I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend. I can't do that. Whatever. And so uh, I, I had to shut all systems down because I told him like, hey, these bitches doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And they got my girlfriend saying I'm cheating on her. And me and you aren't even doing anything. We just friends, you know. And I like hanging around y'all like talking to you. He's like, I like hanging around y'all like talking to you too. How about this? How about, you know, I still, we can still study together. I try to walk to, walk you to your morning classes where, you know, the girlies might be sleeping, stuff like that. And he's like, Trey was like, oh, well, you know, you could come up to my room. Like, you ain't got to stay the night or nothing. But, like, if you want to ever do, like, us, you know, still want to hang out and you just don't want to be in your business, like, I'll sneak you in my room, whatever. So, I'm like, okay, cool. That sounds good. Because I at the time, I didn't ditzy bitch you know didn't think nothing of it i just didn't think nothing of it i promise y'all i didn't think nothing of it at first and then he started to be a little bit more affectionate with me and then like, i would come come up to the room we would like try to study but we would end up talking and talking and talking and he was a really really big prince fan like at one point i thought the bitch was you know taking up the tutor you know what i'm saying for prince like, really, like, got prints tatted on him and everything. Like, obsession. And, um, it's okay. You know, everybody got their person. But, I love Nikki, but I'm not getting Nikki tatted on me. So, long story short, we was, like, really 
hanging out every single day to the point where I started to stay the night. One night I accidentally fell asleep in his room. It was an accident, I believe. And after that, he didn't try to do nothing crazy. He didn't try to like, you know what I'm saying? But you know, them double twin beds is like so tiny. So like I'm laid up with him, he's cuddling me and I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the, oh my God, what am I doing? I gotta get up out of here, like I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? And he, whole time in the back of his head, he's, he knows he's bagging me. He knows he's wearing me down. And so I told him like, listen, I'm not your girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Like, I don't mind being over at your place, but I can't do none of that crazy stuff. He's like, that's fine. I don't want none of that. Like, I know you got a girlfriend. I'm not going to jeopardize that, but I like you and I want to be with you. Like, he finally like said like, I like you a lot and I really want to be with you and I want to make you my girlfriend. Like, I do. So I'm like, I feel like Erica about do, but I'm in a situation. You know, I guess I see you in that light time. I'm just like, oh my God, you crazy girl, you crazy. Like, I just felt like, why are you doing this? We supposed to be platonic and now you want to throw these feelings at me. How dare you? But I liked him too, I did. Whenever he, whenever my girlfriend wasn't around, I was with him. Literally, she at work at Walmart bagging groceries or whatever the hell she doing. And I'm laying on this nigga chest, listening to playlists. It's like, yeah, baby. Like, I, I first heard this song when I was six years old and, and my dad, this, that, and the third. I come over here falling in love with this nigga when I'm supposed to be falling in love with her. She don't know a thing. Miss Mama don't know a thing. This is going on for like months, y'all. Months. Mind y'all became her girlfriend in July. Girl, it's like uh, beginning of October at this point. So we done, we we three months in and every single day I'm with him slash her, you know. So um one day he just tell me straight up like you need to break up with her. I'm like, hold on. Hold on now. He like, yeah, you got to work it with her. Mind you, me and her having trouble in paradise anyways, because if you're a person like myself, it is really hard for me to give uh, um, that type of attention to two people. Like, I've never been a player. I've never been like, uh, like, I've never been that type of person who could cheat on people, you know? Because once I get invested into one person, I could give a fuck about the next. Like, I don't care how your date is doing. I don't care that you, you, you want to go on a date tomorrow. Like, I don't care. Like, why are you even texting me? I'm that type of person. So I really wasn't giving as much energy to my girlfriend anymore because I'm so involved and invested in being with him. Because guess what? He's on campus. He's around every day. I'm standing night with him every day. Unless it's a weekend and you're coming over, then I'm, you know, you stand night on me. But other than that, like, I'm with him five days a week. I'm only with you two days a week. So... He's winning in the race of emotions. So at this point, I'm like, this is crazy. But I was like, you got to give me some time to think on. I can't just break up with her like that. Like, I still, I love her. I still care about her. I still want to be with her. And why is my screen getting hot? Hold on. First of all, it's the first time my phone ever did this while I was recording. So I had to check on that real quick. Hopefully, it don't say overheating or nothing like that. But long story short, I'm like, you got to give me a couple of days to think about it. Like, I, I, I got to make some decisions. So I told him that, right? Because he was being real, real, real pushy about it. Like, I want you. I want you. Like, you playing. I'm, I'm with you every day. I'm around you every day. It's been a couple months now. Like, I really think I, like, you know, love you. And I'm like, well, hold on. Like, I really feel like everybody now. Like, calm down, lady. I can't take this pressure. And so I'm like, okay, give me a give me a couple of days to think about it and we'll see what I what I want to do, whatever. So you know, like, okay, cool. Girl, tell me why one day she, it's like in the middle of the day, well, probably the end of the day, because it's that the sack, I don't want to get stuff in the sack unless it's like after five o'clock. But so me and Winnie the Pooh, we are hungry. So I'm like, we have like a our ID card that gives you a certain amount of points every semester. 
to use in the sack and the sack is the student like you can get food and stuff like that like a little grill spot on campus but you know and then it was another spot and it opened later on in the gym and you could use your points unless it was out well you can use food your regular meal plan if it's in between a certain hour but after those hours you can use points so you can swipe for your meal and then if you want to get something extra you just use points so boom okay so she like i'm hungry whatever i'm like okay cool me too let's go to the set so me and winnie the pool we cute whatever we walking holding hands walking to the set we get in the set me and her talking um now this was the first time i ever bumped into him in and on campus with Winnie the Pooh. So me and her, me and Winnie, we were standing in line waiting on our food. And in walks Trey and his frat bros. Mind you, the frat bros don't know how, well, unless he running his lips. Me and the frat bros don't know how deep me and Trey friendship run. Because we start keeping it low key when the bitches start popping their gums. So everything was like really like, except for his tail, which was the girl, my roommate's dude she was messing with, the other frat bros on his line didn't know how deep it was. So I didn't know if this nigga was going to keep it cool because he had just gave me an ultimatum like a day before, like cut this bitch off. And then here we are, me and Wendy sitting in the, in the line at the sack waiting for our food and, and walks him. So I'm like, let me see what type of, I'm not going to say nothing, but you're not going to even know I know this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So girl all i know is i will see him walk up to winnie the pooh bitch my heart please don't say nothing to her oh my lord i'm gonna get caught like don't say nothing to her you know that's all i could think in my head he walks up to her oh what's up bro daps her up in with the uh, the shoulder, you know what the shoulder mean. Like, this might bro for real. You know, you don't hit them with the shoulder like that for real. I don't know how y'all do the other states. But in Florida, you hit them with the slice and the dice if that's really your nigga for real. Like, y'all cool. You know what I'm saying? That's the closest thing most to a hug most niggas gonna do. So, I'm just standing there baffled while they're they shooting the shit. They talking. Like, talking talking like what's up my dude what's up my guy what's up like hello 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 can you hear me now and i'm just standing there about to piss on myself because all these days i done stay over at your crib and we've done hung out and you've been in my dormitory and we laid up and we tickled each other feet you ain't never tell me you do my girlfriend you ain't never not once mentioned that that was your homie. Nigga, when was you gonna tell me you knew my bitch? So I'm just like, oh yeah, I need to talk to him. I got to talk to him once I, once, 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 once she leave campus tonight. Because tomorrow probably. But, cause what the fuck? And I most definitely like when did you i went and told my girlfriend so my homegirl so quick i'm like girl bitch why i was knocking over water bottles i'm like girl bitch why i'm in a motherfucking sack girl i'm just like you know how us girlies are i'm in a motherfucking sack i'm with uh when the pool girl tell me about trey walking trey walking he come down when the pool up when the pool like what's up bro he like what's up bro and they sitting there talking for a clean 10 minutes while like like talking 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 y'all like Oh my God, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. Because at this point, bitch, I knew it was cheating. Because we had went, went too far. The little cute library studying together, sitting around the lagoon talking, eating lunch here and there together. That's innocent. That's not, you know, that's disrespectful. It could be considered disrespectful, but it wasn't cheating. Me standing night, you standing night, holding my ass and my titties while I'm halfway naked. Although there's no licking and sticking, by this time, we kissing. You know what I'm saying? By this time, he wanting it. By this time, he asking to eat it. By this time, nigga, I'm with you every day. By this time, I'm damn near your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm beyond cheating. I got a boyfriend and a girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got his and hers for Christmas. 
and I don't mean a couple. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving polyamorous around this bitch. You know, I'm just, uh. and so I'm telling the girlies, and I'm just like, oh my God, y'all, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm gonna and oh my goodness, I'm gonna, like, and this time I had a homegirl that was straight, and I had a homegirl that was straight out by, not by, straight out lesbian. She hollered about, stay with the girlfriend, stay with the girlfriend. She, you've been with her since July. Da, 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 you know, stop fucking with him and just, so, you know, don't even say nothing. Just do right by her. Then I got the straight friend. Girl, break up with that girl. You don't even be seeing her like that that much. And then her ex-girlfriend still trying to be, because that's the story time. Her ex-girlfriend was still dead ass trying to argue with me, trying to, like, get her friends to hate me because she wanted the girl back. And I'm just like, she like, girl, you don't need all that shit. This boy with you, like, dang it, every single day, y'all. Do stuff together, y'all hang out together, like on the weekends, even when she not around, he come around. So girl, you might as well just you might might as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh dang. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. So I'm like, I felt like <sighs> Lord, I come to you now as humble as I know how. Like I was stressed, girl. I'm stressed. <laughs> I am stressed out but i had like eventually i had decided you know what i'm gonna go ahead and break up with her i'm gonna go ahead and break up with her because you know what my friend has some really good points although she was saying that because she didn't want me dating a girl no more and then she ended up turning gay it's fine but she had some really really good points like you really actually don't see her that much no more and she's brought nothing but drama in your life like like these girls are really on your neck behind this girl and it's not that deep it's not that deep like y'all argue way too much like me and her be arguing bickering going back and forth and i think a lot of it was the tension because i just wanted to be around him and her presence started to get on my nerves so any little small thing would piss me off and me and her would be arguing then we'll be arguing about her ex-girlfriend in my inbox it was a lot it's a lot she had her own story time she getting when he's getting her own story time and Trey is as well, a couple. <laughs> so he's the boyfriend I told y'all I ended up being depressed about when we broke up. Some of y'all are super OGs and y'all been on my channel long enough to know a couple of the story times about Mr. Trey. But yeah, cause me and him ended up breaking up. Not even a long time after we got together. But yes, yeah, so I ended up just breaking up with her like, you know what, da, da, da. I never told her I cheated on her. I don't know to this day she knew, knew that I cheated on her or not. All I know is she went out and got another girlfriend like a couple, couple months later. Um, and the bitch looked nothing like me, but she had the same birthday as me. The girl, everything like me. And, and it'd be so funny because they always get a girl that's just like me, which is so crazy. Um, him too. After we broke up, he, he got a girl that was same major and wanted to be the same sorority as me, was singing and, and, and trying to do this. All doing, doing but just a, a year younger than me. You wouldn't got a dumb bitch, you know what I'm saying? Look like me. But just ain't had a, the hips and the body like me, you know what I'm saying? Shaped like a wine cooler, but it's okay. So, you know, long story short, it was, it was a crazy ride, but I was happy when the ride was over with because I felt... I don't know how you listen here listen here i got any men or cheaters in the room you cheating men you cheating women my hat goes off to y'all because that was the most stressful three months august september october i just popped my rubber band that was the most stressful three months of my life oh i was stressed out every day but let me tell you something it's over now. Feel like I can make it. The sun is burning. The storm is over now. So that just that was the beginning of a lot of drama. I went through a lot of drama. Even after breaking up with her, those girls still hated me and had beef with me to the point they tried to fucking jump me. And that's a whole nother story time. And then finally being his girlfriend turned into drama because I found out the girl he was actually effing before me and him like got together and we start effing the bitch was holding on and and, and I had to shoot up birds and cuss our bitches and tell her stop trying to talk to him he got a girlfriend now 
like drama 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 and then he's you know in the fraternity so he got there doing his little thing he doing his little he doing his little dancey pants pull up his fancy pants you know and back then girls well it's a, it's a hot girl right now in college doing this but you know there's desperate girls out there in the world that they will they would have sex with a man that they don't even know their name just because they're in a the fraternity so i used to be stressing about that because like you girls be all up over him and he had a big thing lane. i'm talking about that boy was Packing, you know what I'm saying? And whoever got him now, girl, or or, or guy, you know what I'm saying? Child, you ain't gotta tell me, Miss Mama. I know. <laughs> and he can eat, baby. Oh yes, ma'am. He can eat. I was a happy camper. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man. You know, Trey was digging in his back, but <sighs> we got some good story times. We had some drama story times, but we got some good story times. <sighs> And, um, <laughs> I just think about the days, but no, if y'all would like to hear, um, my next story time about how I met Winnie the Pooh and then how my first time going down on a female was, comment down below and let me know if you would like to hear the story time about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his, well, cheated on his new girlfriend with me after we broke up. If y'all want to hear that story time, that's a crazy that's a crazy one or we can talk about the story time this is a, these two characters have so many different story times so we can actually talk about either of those two story times but we can talk about how me and him broke up because i found out he um he served my sorority sister it's whatever you know you you got options <laughs> you can just let me know baby let me know i got it i got it i'll deliver it i'm back in action bitch i'm back in action y'all been wanting the college story time and i've been i've been holding them but baby i'm ready to release you know what i'm saying i'm ready to come on the platform okay just comment down below i love y'all so much i'm so crazy but it's time for me to run a target so i'll see y'all later and until next time dudes and gems peace